I wanted some blue fabric. I wasn't that crazy about the blue fabric I had in the closet, so I decided to dye my own. This time I used acrylic paint. Let me show you what I did so you can do it too. So not long ago, I decided I needed some blue fabrics and you are not getting the full impact of this blue, let me tell you, because it is so lush. It looks like you have just gone under the ocean to find all these absolutely gorgeous blues. And I wanted to do some blue fabric, but I just, I want to do it in a hurry and I'm still trying to use up some uh, acry acrylic paint. So that's what I decided to do. I would just mix some paint with some water and dip my fabrics until I got the colors I wanted. And so this is what I ended up with. I also took my glitter mist sprays that I had left over and sometimes I would just add some to it. So you might see some sparkle that pops up. And this is just a really easy way to dye fabric. And if you dilute it nice enough, it's not going to get so stiff that you can't pull a needle through. This is an old sheet. I mean, look at these colors. So here's a little bit of the sparkle. I don't know if you can see it here, but there is a little bit of a sparkle there. And you get these dark sections by letting things dry kind of bunched up like that. So I'll pop a little video in here that shows you some of the ways that I did it. And one thing I do is when I'm painting, I do save my paint water. You know, when you rinse off your brushes, I save my paint water. And then I just put my little scraps of fabric in there and it's diluted enough that it doesn't make the fabric really stiff. And you never know what color you're gonna get, which is really exciting. Another thing you can do that I did here was to premix your colors in some clear plastic containers so that you can see what you've got. And it worked out really great. I uh, pre-mixed, you know, basically I didn't pre-mix with an, any intention other than emptying out my bottles. I had a lot of bottles that were almost gone and the stuff was going to dry up and be, you know, the, the pigment would be lost. So I just added some water, shook them up, dumped them in the things, and then just kept dumping them in the tubs. I mean, look at this, just yummy, yummy stuff. I mean, there are just so many beautiful pieces of blues in here. And I'm going to be using these along with my knots that I have been making. I'll be stuffing these up into different shapes. And, you know, because it's acrylic, I mean, this is pretty permanent. You know, when you spill paint on your clothes, it doesn't come off. Look at this. I just love these. I can't wait to start stitching with these and wrapping some rope with these and doing all kinds of fun stuff with them. You're not going to be able to buy fabric like this in the store. And what a great way to use up your paint. It doesn't matter what paint. I had a bunch of golden paint that was going to dry up. I sure didn't want to lose that expensive pigment. It works with craft paint. But you do want to dilute it a little bit so that it doesn't get too... St I mean, you can certainly paint on fabric and use that. But if you're going to do a lot of hand stitching, you might not want things to get too stiff. It just makes it a lot easier, makes your stitching experience a lot more enjoyable. So, I mean, look at here. Look at here. No, I don't know what I'm going to use all of these for. I know a lot of these thin pieces are going to be for wrapping rope. You know, I can do them like this. I can wrap rope and then do some stitching on them. But a lot of the other stuff, I don't know. I'm just so thrilled to have not lost all that pigment in that paint. Look at that. Looks like the sky. A lot of these were little upholstery remnants. I'm not flipping through every one, obviously, because it is immense. But there are some great, great fabrics in here. So give it a try. Um, use some acrylic paint to color your fabrics and get some wonderful things that you can play with. Make art your way just because.